the flat face. So you know, I got to interrupt you, Victor K. Crispy Co. Yep. coming in with an answer, uh, 0.117. So um, that is not correct. It's not within tolerance, and the, um, the the precision is not deep enough. So remember, you guys got to match the precision on our prints. That is going to count as an answer against Crispy Co. Um, it does need to be at the correct precision. Uh, we're looking for X dot X X X X X X Machina coming in zero point one two zero three. That is also not correct. So both Ooh, incorrect answers. Both of our runners lobbing in an answer. Uh, both of our runners maybe need to take a minute and check some of the dimensions. All right, guys. Well, that is awesome. Um, that is also very exciting, and I'm excited to hear about some of your stories, Victor K. As you become the co-driver, the navigator in this uh, rally experience, and uh, yeah, it'll be fun. Yeah, this is awesome. All right, guys. Uh, Ex Machina says Oregon Trail is really famous. Beautiful rally. Nice. Nice. He knows. He knows. All right. Our number three seed versus our number 11 seed. Ex Machina versus Crispy Co. Greece versus Australia. A Libre versus SolidWorks. This final battle between these two wizards begins in three, two, one, go. What is the mass of this part in zero dot X, 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 X pounds? And we're looking at a tolerance of plus or minus 0 0.0003 pounds. This is in inches. Guys, inches and in ABS. I know everyone loves when we do inches. Let's flip over and see what our runners think about this challenge. Inches. People in the crowd were even clapping for inches there. <laughs> wow. Okay, so we see Ex Machina taking the one feature at a time approach, starting out with the base, extruding it to a solid. He's got the first solid on screen and then getting into that uh, arced slotted hole. We see Crispy Co. taking more of a layout approach, including multiple features in one sketch. We saw him do this last time and it definitely paid off. Let's see if it pays off again. We see that this slotted, angled slotted hole has an angle. Uh, it's got uh, a couple of arc dimensions. It's got uh, a radius for the kind of representing the width of that arc slotted hole. Those arc slotted holes sometimes are a little tricky if you haven't practiced them a lot. So, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be challenging the runners. This is the world championship of 3D CAD speed modeling. Too tall, Toby. You take credit. I think on shape might be might be nicer for creating. Uh, these slotted holes because you're kind of just thickening a line to make a slot so you mm -hmm. can create all that construction geometry a lot quicker yes than having to create the slot first and then add the construction geometry after yes except there's one problem with that which is the way that those slots are dimensioned in this print we gave them uh the inside mm -hmm. ar arc slot radius and the outside arc slot radius but not the center arc slot radius so might have might have present you might have had to do a little bit of math but yeah all right, so now we see uh, two both runners creating the same feature at the same time, but in a different direction. Kind of interesting. So we see mm -hmm. Ex Machina on the left creating that kind of tombstone shape looking down from the top. We see Crispy Cole on the right creating that tombstone shape looking in from the end. So this is going to be very interesting. And these holes in, in the drawing, what's happening with those holes going down through those tombstone shapes is they are gradually stepped down. So it's a it's a few different diameters. So a larger diameter at the very top, then a smaller hole, and then an even smaller hole. So it does kind of step down as you run your way down through, as though you were mounting this on the wall and then putting something in it, a, a flagpole or a, you know, a hinge, some type of hinge for some type of device. Yeah. That starting offset um, that uh, Crispy Co is using, that's a very handy thing that isn't always in every CAD package. Yes. Yes. It's so. Starting offset and then uh, yeah. going, going, uh, you know, up to surface. Very, very impressive. And uh, yeah. I see Tafon is sharing some stuff about adding stuff to CAD packages. I'm going to circle back to that after this match. I don't want to miss the action on this final match between these two Titans. But uh, mm -hmm. yeah, really slick move by Crispy Co there doing that up to surface from the offset. We see Ex Machina yeah. getting into creating some of these holes here on this plastic wall mount. It's also a very robust way to model. Like if you're modeling and, and putting your sketches like on a, a front plane or a, a right plane or something like that, um, no matter what your geometry, how your geometry changes, if you, instead of a flat face, so, you know, I gotta interrupt you, Victor K. Crispy Co. Oh. coming in with an answer, uh, 0 0.117. Quick. 
seven. So um, that is not correct. It's not within tolerance, and the um, the the precision is not deep enough. So remember, you guys got to match the precision on our prints. That is going to count as an answer against Crispy Co. Um, it does need to be at the correct precision. Uh, we're looking for X dot X X X X X X Machina coming in zero point one two zero three. That is also not correct. So both Two incorrect answers. Both of our runners lobbing in an answer. Uh, both of our runners maybe need to take a minute and check some of the dimensions on the print. Uh, but we are looking for this answer in four place precision. Um, and uh, yes, that is not within the range. Neither of those answers is within the range. Jern says, "I think I see some some issues. This is these guys talk about being neck and neck." Both of them completely finished the model. Both of them coming up with an answer, lobbing that answer in. Both of them getting it wrong. Now both of them going through and trying to figure out what where their mistake was. This is it. Sudden death. A wrong answer will, will make you ineligible to earn the point. A right answer will allow you to move on to the round of eight. This is some high stakes 3D CAD modeling here. I like what Chris Bico is doing using the hidden edges view to this really... Just hone in on one drawing view and, and check to make sure that everything looks right. Yes. To figure out where he went wrong. Yes. Good to, good to be able to use all the tools in the CAD package, um, including interrogation tools. Yeah. Ace, Ace is <laughs> asking about the clock in the chat. Aaron C. answering correctly. We only do the clock after we get two wrong answers from one person. That's when the clock of doom will show up. Yep. Great question. And uh, and Barry responding to Jern. Jern said, I think I see some issues. Barry saying the issue is that this model is in inches. So, <laughs> indeed. <laughs> Everybody loves when we do inches. Man, I'm so locked in on both of these guys. This is Yeah, I'm just kind of speechless and watching them to see if they'll, they'll find their mistakes. Yes. Both runners kind of going through and trying to just double check their their geometry. Wow! And who's gonna who's gonna make the call first and yeah. put in their answer? Yeah, it's scary to commit too. Yeah, you kind of you kind of take the pressure off of your opponent if you if you answer and it's incorrect. You give your opponent some breathing room, so it definitely makes this a high stakes situation here. And this is what we're here for. If you guys like these kinds of high stakes situations, hit that like button. We want to make sure that we get that like count up to match our viewer viewer count. We need an emoji for freedom units, says Vicky Chong. Yeah, that could be another one we had. There's already an emoji for that. It's uh, it's the vomiting emoji. Oh, no. wow. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Jern says two non-IPS countries competing in IPS. Yes. Yeah. Very good observation. Okay. I saw. Okay. We see fully defined coming in with an answer. 0 0.1160. That is not correct. Ooh. That is not correct. So that means that we're going to bring up the doom. clock of doom 0 0.116. That is not correct. So we're going to be bringing up the clock of doom here. And we're going to see if Ex Machina can finish this thing off in the allotted time. Sorry, guys. Here we go. So we're going to move this clock of doom over here to Ex Machina's screen. And we are going to see... Now we got some pressure. So Ex Machina, you know, he's going to he, he loosen. The, the pressure's a little bit loosened on him. Uh, we've seen, you know, we've seen a couple of answers come in here. Uh, we saw Fully Defined come in with 0 0.117. We saw Ex Machina come in with 0 0.1203. And we saw Fully Defined come in with 0 0.116. K Customs in the chat saying, Ex Machina, take it slow. Eh, it's okay advice. I mean, you got a little bit of breathing room, but you'd be you'd be surprised by how fast that clock seems to run down. Sometimes I think it's on 2x speed. 
And fully yeah, defined, that fully defined, do, giving some I'm... advice here in the chat too. Says no, speed up. Yes, good advice. Up, yeah. Good advice from fully defined. He wants as another well. round. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, I use a window snipping tool, and in cases like this, I'm just using the built-in paintbrush to just cross off dimensions and make sure that every single dimension is crossed off. Mm. Pro, that's pro, pro move. Yeah. And, and not even like in my sketches, I'll just I'll roll all the way down to the end and then just physically click on each feature and do, you know, a measure between centers and that kind of stuff. Because, you know, I might have created something in a sketch at the start and then another, you know, cut extrude later just completely ruined it. Well, listen, we got an answer from Ex Machina. 0 0.1291. That is not correct. Not correct. So no points Guys, answer in the chat. If you modeled this, answer in the chat. This <clears throat> is going to be a push. So we're going to go to another match here. Uh, if you guys are out there. a couple people with answers. They yep. Dom. Dom coming in 0 0.1607. Not correct. Ace Ooh. coming in 0 0.1228. Not correct. Rambro 0 wow. 0.97. I like it, but not correct. Uh, let's see here. Ricardo Jean 0 0.1107. Not correct. Azzy, 0 0.1106. Not correct. Wow. Nobody got this one. Ex Machina says, wasn't it my first answer? Nope. Not correct. Not correct. Not correct. Wow, guys. This is a tough one. Yeah. I might have to jump in and model this one real quick. Yeah. We might, <laughs> we might end up having to see uh, some uh, someone else model it. If you guys want to keep trying to model it, if you, if you want to put that one in the chat, just type 09 equals and then you can type in your answer member zero dot x x x x aaron c says toby's starting to sweat yeah like i yeah maybe i got it wrong exactly <laughs> maybe yeah toby's it's, wrong. He's it's wrong definitely here. possible it's definitely possible how you feeling about that audit process lol yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah exactly all right guys we're gonna go back to the wheel of fate here we're gonna keep this moving along here a little bit quicker now uh, but we are going to go back to the Wheel of Fate, and we're going to see what the next challenge is going to be here. Congratulations to our runners. Dom Linder coming in 0 0.1156, and that is correct. 0 0.1156 is correct. Nice work, Dom. GG at Dom. We're going to see him compete next week, I believe. Good practice there. Go, Dom. Let's go. Everybody's... <laughs> Everybody's cheering on Dom. All right, guys. We got four more. We got a couple of extras in the wings if we run out of these four.